Hi everyone, I want to talk about the Uliana Monk in Season 27. So I've tried out this build on the PTR and Uliana is one of my favorite builds ever to exist in this game. I guess a lot of people actually say the same as well. It is definitely a very beloved playstyle, so it's kind of sad that it's not really like, you know, top tier these days. But it does get the new seasonal theme power that actually has a quite interesting effect and helps a little bit with some of the build's weaknesses, so I want to discuss it. So we have this new season theme power that gives you extra, so to say, permanent seven-sided strikes on one target that continuously explodes the exploding palm through Gangdu gear, refreshing it all the time, so that you just have continuous extra damage. And this damage buff is actually quite significant. So I believe it's five extra hits per second, which means that during a single COE cycle, you get up to 20 extra hits in four seconds when you do the big pop with your Shenlongs and with Convention of Elements active. And this is way more than the typical seven hits that you do with the seven sided strike when you don't have Lion's Claw. So this the power then definitely benefits the Shenlong's variant of the build way more than the one that runs the Flow of Eternity and the Lion's Claw. But Shenlong's already has been dominating Uliana for the longest time. And now this gap has slightly increased in season 27, making Shenlong's even better. So you see me here in 132, but I was not really like trying super hard of this. I just went into some, you know, kind of okay map, but you see me here walking around in like floor three already. Uh, walking through that crypt and all that stuff. So this could be way better. And Uliana is a build that typically relies a lot on really large density to get those explosions because they increase the damage you do with your pops. And in some cases, uh, you can you know completely annihilate elite packs when they're surrounded by like 50 guys. Uh, in some cases, I was like completely one-shotting elite packs on this tier when there was a good pull. So this is how good it can be. And then you usually end up with like no damage whatsoever on the Rift Guardian and you just punch away for like seven minutes and fail the run anyway. But luckily for this setup, the Rift Guardian is also the point where you notice this new seasonal theme power the most because it gives you 20 extra hits instead of just seven, you have 27. So this is yeah almost a times four of your total damage done. And it helps you a lot while fighting the boss. So the boss goes down way faster and instead of those seven minutes fights, you're probably gonna have like a you know more regular like two, three minutes fight or so, even on the highest push tiers. And there is a second issue that this new seasonal theme power solves, which is the application for Mythic Rhythm. So usually how you play Oniana is that you have the Mythic Rhythm passive, and then you punch something three times which gives you this uh, Mythic Rhythm effect. And the next time you do an Exploding Palm, it will be buffed by 40% extra multiplicative damage. And you can spread that one Palm with your 7-sided strike to all surrounding enemies. If you just keep punching everything with your left click or you do like manual Exploding Palm applications, you don't get that bonus. So you have to be very careful about spreading exactly the right Palm to everything else with the Gangnu Gear Explosions. And here, you have the option to just run into a new pool with the Mythic Rhythm ready, exploding palm something, and then start seven sided strike, and you will target exactly the right guy to spread the palm to everything. It's way easier than usual. Even in rather large pools, you can quite consistently apply this Mythic Rhythm palm like this and spread it to everything else to get another bonus of like a TO2. So overall, yeah, this seasonal theme power is not like the craziest, but it does help Uliana exactly where it's the weakest, which is mostly the boss, and also with this um, exploding palm spread. So it is actually pretty nice. And I'm quite looking forward to playing some Monk and trying this uh, Uliana power with like a more dedicated push. Unfortunately, everything on Monk is like super overshadowed by the insane power of Wave Flight, which is projected to be by far the strongest solo pushing build in the game. Uh, you know, we can do like 150 solo, probably at like 50, 100 paragons or something like that. If you really try with uh, Wave of Light, which is not going to be possible with Uliana. I expect we might see 150 clears with Uliana, but this will be yeah, very far on the high end, somewhere like 5, 6k plus paragons, I imagine. Personally, I think I would actually enjoy Uliana more if this was not a Shenong build. I guess that might be the case for most people where you actually play like the old you know, palm and you have like a way shorter cooldown on seven sided strike and you have way faster boss fights because you don't have this scuffed Shenlong setup that you have to do every single time with only seven palms. 
So I hope that in the future, at least, there would be some update to the build, especially some updates to the build's legendary weapons, like the Lion's Claw and the Flow of Eternity, perhaps, to um, yeah, kind of force them more into the build and not make Shenlongs such a strong option that you have to take if you want to push. But yeah, that's it what I have to share here for Liana Monk. The build itself doesn't really change very much, and the playstyle is also basically the same. So if you have played Onyan in the past, then yeah, nothing really new here. But I do like to see some theme power. Hope you enjoyed this little video here. Let me know what you think about it. Subscribe for more of the other free content. And I'll see you guys next time.